Yeah, uh, I was in Jamaica on, well, a beachfront house we had rented, and uh, I think the, just the phone rang, and I was there for like 10 day vacation, and I think his name is Joel Perisman, President of the Hall of Fame. He said, you know, hey, I just want to let you know that you've been inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, all right, you know, hey. I sort of didn't know what to think, you know, it's a surprise for sure. Uh, first off, I'm, I'm proud of what it means for Spooner because Spooner has been such a dedicated player so long here and he's known all over the world in the right circles and for him, to, it, to me, it's fitting for him to be the first inductee actually that came out of the same kind of school or class that we came out of. I've got a little analogy that suits my brain. It's sort of like a basket of Easter egg, different colors, sitting down on the beach, and I just bird flew over and picked the pink one or the green one, took me up in the air, and that's about the way I felt. It's, you know, it's picked out of a batch. There's a lot of good possibles, you know, and more to come. But uh, yeah, I feel honored and blessed. Be included. Chris will be in it soon. Oh. I'll get a boat now, so we're going to... I'll be in the Hall of Shame. I think I picked up my mom, Marie, has a beauty shop. And it's sort of like... Uh, I feel associated in a way, you know. She, like that, I try to make people look good. And I think I do a good job, you know. All I can say is that there's a possibility now that maybe other people from here will follow in his footsteps, and and that's what we'll be doing, you know. And so we're just absolutely uh, happy, so happy for him, and uh, because he deserves it big time. And and sometimes, you know, people can get overlooked, but this time they didn't. Freddie Well and I wrote this one. Mm-hmm. 